of an Instagram cheeky coconuts coming to you from Bondi Beach, Sydney, Australia. Massive shout out to the crew of the Fifi. Thank you so much for having me. Really excited to be here. We're going to be making some clean vegan caramel cups. Let's get started. These are the ingredients we're going to be using today. It's all paleo and vegan friendly. This recipe is also no bake. I'll give you a screenshot later. First up, we're going to get our base started. So in here, I've got two tablespoons of coconut oil. I'm going to add two tablespoons of coconut sugar and almond butter. So once you've given that a good stir through into a large bowl, let's pop one cup of almond meal and we'll also mix this through. So give that a really good stir until it's all incorporated and kind of looks like breadcrumbs. And then we're going to add a quarter of a cup of buckwheat groats. These are completely optional, but I love adding these in because they add a little bit of crunch and texture, which is always amazing. Okay, so I've got a silken muffin tray here. And basically I've just divided the mixture evenly between each one and then pressed them down with the back of a spoon. Okay, so our filling, it looks like it has like two or three layers, but it's actually all done in the one go. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Into a small pot, we're going to put two tablespoons of coconut oil, two tablespoons of tahini, coconut sugar, almond butter. Then to enhance and balance out the flavors, we're going to put in some salt and some vanilla bean powder. Guys, you do need the salt, especially if you're using natural almond butter. So let's take this over to the stove and we're gently going to heat this, stirring, until it combines together. Really doesn't take long at all. All you're really looking for is that beautiful caramel coconut sugar to be mixed through and melted. So when you take that off the heat, what it's going to look like is the tahini separating from the almond butter, which is going to create the layers when we pour it on top of our base. So I've got out of the freezer the base that we did earlier. Now I'm going to evenly spoon the mixture on top of these. Okay, so I'm going to pop that back in the freezer. My God, it's so good. Put it in the freezer for 20 minutes and then we'll do the chocolate. So the reason we get those cool layers without even trying is the hull tahini weighs less than the almond butter. Now, if you're not using a hull tahini, so if your tahini is not hulled or your almond butter isn't natural and it all ends up incorporating, who cares? It's still going to taste amazing. Okay, so while we wait for that to set a little bit more, this is my Instagram, guys. Cheeky coconuts. And that first post here is what we're making. Coming up next is a screenshot of the ingredients, but you can also find them here if you don't get it. Alrighty, let's finish these babies off. So here I've got 100 grams of really good quality vegan chocolate. So it's obviously dairy free. So what you want to do is you want to melt this. So you could double boil it over the stove or you could totally cheat and put it in the microwave like I'm going to do. No one's going to know. Do it. Oh yeah, so good. So that's all nice and melted. And we're just going to grab our little babies out of the freezer and top them off. So I've made a big mess, but that's okay. All you need to do is spoon the melted chocolate evenly across all six and then spread it out. So once you've spread out your chocolate, you want to pop this back into the freezer, probably for about another half an hour, and then you'll be ready to pop them out of the mold. I really hope you enjoyed that recipe, guys. Up next, I'm going to give you a screenshot of all my details, so make sure you get them. And to all you amazing creative foodies out there, I know there's lots of you. If you want to take over the Feed Feed Snapchat, send them a message.